Kid, in this Kid Time Story Time, we are going global. We are the world. Hey, Pink Bear. We are the puppets. Hey, Red Bear. We are the ones that make a better world, because we are global. There's a book we're reading. It takes us everywhere. It's here to make you smarter kids and smarter bears. Yes, this book will definitely make you a smarter bear. But what does it mean? Ooh, pretty, pretty. What does it mean to be global? Does it mean to sit on top of the world? No, but we're gonna find out what it means. What does it mean to be global? Does it mean having a globe? Is that it? Is that it? No. Oh. Oh, so maybe I'm not global? No, no, maybe you are. So, but the globe, does it make me global? No, but it means you have a globe, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I agree. That way you can pick out countries and, and start to spark your curiosity about people in other parts of the world. Does it mean studying planets? Uh, no. Oh. So, that's a big N-O on studying planets also? No, no, you can study it. That's the study of astronomy, but that's not exactly what makes you global. Oh, okay, I guess we'll get to it in a minute. Yeah, 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 we will. Does it mean being round? No, it doesn't mean you're shaped like a globe. That's just silly. Being global means, ah, now we're gonna get to the good stuff. Being curious about other parts of the world. I'm curious about Everything. You sure are. Like these kids right here, online, right there. And I could tell she's studying something right there about another part of the world, that, that crazy dragon face right there. You see that in a lot of Asian cultures. And here, oh, I see a lot of kid time story times, probably books from around the world, including a travel journal, which is so cool to keep so you could, you know, keep notes on the cool things you saw. Here's a big map on the wall with places visited and places you wish to visit. That means, that, that makes you global. Being interested in the world. What else? Recognizing that your language is just one of thousands spoken on our earth. I already knew that. Oh, and how did you already know that little green bear, Mr. Know-it-all? <laughs> because, because a bella bear speaks Spanish and she teaches me Spanish and that's how I know that there are other languages, okay? Also, in Spanish, okay is okay. That is very true. So we have hello, alu, bonjour, ciao, ni hao, shalom, jambo, oi, and hola, which is a word that a bella bear uses hola. That's right. Listening to all kinds of different music also makes you global because everybody loves music. It's the universal language, if you will. Because everybody loves it? Yes. And because rhythm has no language? Exactly. Or notes? Exactly. But the words have language. Yes, but you, with music, don't actually have to know the words to get the feeling of it. This is very true. Yeah. So here we have an opera singer and here we have a strummer and here we have a drummer and that that looks like a sitar I think I want to say so many instruments from around the world even instrument they even have different instruments sometimes that we don't have in our parts of the world oh being global means traveling to places near and far like Egypt and the Great Pyramids on a camel wow that's a big adventure and appreciating how these places are special yeah, they can be very different from where you've been and people live differently according to their surroundings and you learn so much about how people live. It also means trying all types of food. Here we have, oh, traditional burger and fries and here we have uh, sushi and here we have tacos and here we have Indian food. Oh, and also experiencing other traditions. We have just walked into the middle of a Chinese New Year parade, I can tell. 
So that's being global, trying new foods, which is so important, right? We eat three times a day and it's part of who we are and our foods are part of how we are. You probably haven't even thought about that, but it reflects your culture and, and how you celebrate holidays is a reflection and learning about other cultures, learning about other religions. Here we have uh, Christmas, that's Christian. And here we have Shalom, kid. That's the Hebrew star, so he's Jewish, uh, celebrating Hanukkah. And here I think we have a Kwanzaa celebration happening that celebrates African culture. Uh, what else? Respecting that others may have different values than you do. Here we have a kid praying at the Quran, celebrating diversity in people. That just means basically liking different kinds of people and having different kinds of friends who come from different parts of the world and maybe speak different languages and eat different foods. Understanding how your actions affect another person's experience. Oh, that's just being a good citizen no matter where you are. Like being thoughtful, being caring. Being caring is a good part of being global because that's how we can understand one another. Living respectfully and peacefully with one another. Hello, hello, hey, hey. And opening your mind to new possibilities, like giving back, like these kids right here, how are they being global? They're supporting a great cause by selling lemonades and cookies and, and these kids here are volunteering. What, what, what kind of a great cause could, could I support if I wanted to be global? Oh, well, you're a kid, so you could, you could raise uh, money uh, like selling lemonade or cookies or something for like maybe to buy new books for your school library. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do that. Okay. And that'll make you global. And you know what? It'll make it even extra globalier. Is that a word? No. But you know what? It'll make it extra global. What? If you get books for the library. With the money that I'm going to raise. Uh-huh. But books f that, that talk about other places around the world. Whoa. I know, I know. Let's go, because I read a lot of books, you know, so I know that there's a lot of good books out there. Being global means being a citizen of the world. It means knowing that community is a group of people with common interests, like having smart, bright kids or safe parks to play in. That's, that's a common interest. Traditions are beliefs and customs that parents teach their kids. Like they may teach you about Christmas or they may teach you about Hanukkah. They may teach you about the value of hard work. Diversity means differences, knowing that people are going to look different, speak differently, have different accents and different, so many different things that they're going to bring to the table that's just fun and different, like uh, different crayons in the box. You know, you don't want all the crayons to be blue, for example. Uh, it means knowing that citizens are a member of the community. It means knowing that cultures are communities that share values, beliefs, and customs, like values like being a good citizen and being kind to one another and values are what people consider important like what do you consider important I, I, I consider food important well that's not exactly a value it's just a basic need but I understand that that's something you value so let's do whatever we can to be global like recycling or sharing a meal that's new and interesting and let's spread the word if we can all be global our world will be even more interesting and exciting. I know that I, storyteller, love to travel. I've gone, let's see, we've lived, we lived in New York. We went to the Statue of Liberty. Now we're over here in California and we're going to see the whale soon. We go to Florida all the time. I visited San Francisco. Ooh, the Galapagos turtle. This is South America. And then, oh, just, there's so much to see. This one right here, she's on a safari. This one's visiting the penguins on one of the poles. Oh, these guys are hanging out by the Great Wall of China. Oh, and top of the morning to you, mate, over there in Australia. There's such a lot of world to see. Nothing makes you global. Like, well, getting out there and seeing the globe and seeing so many enriching, incredible things. What are you guys doing? Cha, 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 cha. Conga, conga, conga. Global, global, global. Uh, excuse me? Oh, wait. Uh, what, what are you guys doing? Uh, since you said that global means embracing different cultures and doing fun different things and different music, we're going to conga around the world. Is that the plan? Yes. Wait for me. Global, global, global. Global, global, global. Oh. I'm going to go catch a conga. I want to see the world too. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Storytime, where you can travel the world with, my, with us. See you.